Hello everybody! I'm back. It's been a minute since I've done a YouTube video and as you can probably already tell from the visuals and the sound, this is going to be a million times better than the last few videos I had to put out. I decided I would make this a get ready with me, so I'm going to put some makeup on while I tell you all about life updates, all about what has happened and why the quality is so much better and where I'm moving forward with this and all of that good stuff. So let's get started. So first of all, obviously this video is much better quality. So if you have a 4K TV, you can watch this in 4K, which is super exciting. If you don't though, you can probably still tell that it just overall looks more crisp and more detailed and all of that good stuff. And that is because I got the iPhone 12 Pro Max recently and you can film in 4K. I was used to using the iPhone 8 Plus. That is the phone that I had for the past three years. Um, and although it was good to me, it was also not so good to me. So it was time for me to get a new phone because um, the screen was cracked for over a year. Um, for the past at least six months, I could only talk on speakerphone. People, I couldn't hear people and people couldn't hear me if I was just using the phone like a regular phone. Um, and then it also, as you guys noticed, it was recording my voice muffled sounding and no matter how I tried to fix it in iMovie, and believe it or not, that was what you heard was fixed a little bit. <laughs> um, it just never, it never got completely better. That's why the last video I uploaded was probably the beginning of October, just because at that point I knew I was getting the phone soon, which I didn't realize it was coming out mid-November at that point. I thought it was coming out in October. Um, but that's when I got the new phone, and I was like, well, I'm just not even going to put up another YouTube video until the quality is better at this point, because people are noticing, people are frustrated by it, understandably, and so I just waited. So I got the phone on November 13th because I pre-ordered it on November 6th and I got right into filming but not filming YouTube videos. I'm working on a super secret project that I'm so excited to tell you guys more about within the next couple months but um, I've been actually doing a lot of filming and I've been doing it with this new setup. So I feel super profesh because not only can I record in the 4K, but I am also using a Yeti Pro X mic, I think is what this one's called. Um, it is a $180 microphone, which is insane to me. I had never spent that much on a microphone, but I see why people do because the sound is vastly better. I mean, there's so many settings that you can do on this thing. Um, and we're even using it for our podcast now. Some of you know that me and my husband have a podcast, so now we are using it for that, and then I'm using it for my YouTube videos and my project and all of that stuff, so the sound is so much better than even a new phone would do. So there's that, which is really exciting. It's off to the side here. You can't see it, but it's just kind of sitting on the side of the table. Um, and I really love, I just love how it sounds. So there's that as well. Um, and I'm really excited. It was one of those things that, again, super expensive in my mind, but it's an investment because this thing will last me for years and it's going to get a lot of use out of it. So um, very, very cool. I had never gotten a really expensive professional mic before, so yay! And then I am also using my lights. So a lot of the YouTube videos that I have been doing have been just in front of my window, which I still will probably do a lot like that. I, I like the setup. I like just using daylight and it's a lot easier for me, but at the same time I understand how it's kind of annoying how the sun goes in and out and changes your skin tone and how things look. So I am using, I'm back to using my umbrella lights, which if you guys have followed me for a long time, if you have been subscribed and you followed me from different channels and you've seen my growth and journey on YouTube, then you know that I have had these umbrella lights for a long time. I had these umbrella lights back when I lived with my parents and I would set these bad boys up 
in my little bedroom and be so cramped. I mean, I'm pretty cramped right now with the setup, but I think it's a lot more reasonable than that little bedroom. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, I've had these forever. I've replaced the light bulbs a few times, but they, they do the job. So I have two umbrella lights up, and then I have what's called the makeup light directly behind the iPhone. So it's behind and a little bit up. The makeup light is my trusted light for when I'm doing professional makeup application on others. So if it's 6 a.m. and it's super dark, if it's gloomy, if I just need good lighting, I'm in a basement or somewhere that doesn't have windows, then this makeup light saves everything. It doesn't run too blue, it doesn't run too yellow, and it's just amazing. It's the perfect light for makeup application. They actually have different forms, so if you want like a personal one to stick on like your bathroom mirror, or I think they even have a little mirror like this now. So cool, so good, just so good. I'll link them below if you're interested, but I just, I swear by these makeup lights. I have three of them now, actually, so they've come in handy when I work with my team and, and stuff like that, so, um, but I do have one of those now in the center, which I find really helps to illuminate the rest of me. The umbrella lights are good, but it was, like, something was still missing. Something was still a little fuzzy when I only used the umbrella lights to the sides, so that's also creating this nice effect. So in addition to everything just looking nicer visually and sounding better for my future YouTube videos, um, I also am kind of amping up the overall production. Well, how do I want to say this? I'm enhancing how things look overall. That's probably a better way to say it. So I'm going to have better thumbnails because I actually, on Black Friday, got this amazing deal on Etsy. I'll link this below, too. So, um, I don't know how much it normally is. I think it's normally, like, $40, and I got it for $24. So, either way, it's still a great deal. And it's this template kit of, like, everything you could think of for social media, for your business. It has, like, workbook templates, Twitter, maybe not Twitter. I don't, I don't know exactly, but I know there's like Pinterest pin templates, there's Facebook banner templates, YouTube thumbnails, email, like there's so many things included in this kit. And that way, it can all be branded, and it can all be seamless. And it's, I think it's called the rosy theme. So like, they make it so it's like this light pink, if you like that. I probably will make it more my branded colors, um, which is easy to do in Canva. But yeah, so I got that. So I feel like my templates, not my templates, my thumbnails are finally going to be uniform and how I want them to be because my thumbnails are something that I've struggled with throughout the years. I never really loved how I did my thumbnails and it's kind of been a work in progress of learning what I like or don't like and what I can also do realistically. So now that I have templates, I'm like, oh cool. Like the work's done for me. I just need to put in my pictures, title, and colors. So I'm super excited about that. I'm also revamping my descriptions. <laughs> so um, my descriptions have been the way they've been forever now. The affiliate links that I had I don't even think a lot of them work anymore. They're so old. Um, they're not ones that I really prioritize or care about much anymore as I've grown. Um, and so I'm changing to affiliate links that actually matter, like things like products I swear by, um, things I talk about all the time, things like that. Um, and then just overall kind of changing how my descriptions look. I don't know, just to be more simple, streamlined, professional, things like that. Um, so that is also something I'm doing. So as you can see, I don't know, 2021 is going to be like the year of revamping my YouTube life, I guess. Um, now this isn't to say I have no idea of an upload schedule or anything like that. Um, I always have the intention of uploading more on YouTube and then things happen like business things happen that like I need to prioritize, you know what I mean? Like big projects or tons of clients or things like that. And so obviously that comes first. 
but I do want to upload to YouTube more. So this is my intention for 2021. Um, especially now kind of revamping and having all of these abilities now to make really good quality videos. So, um, that's that. So I do have that intention. So again, like I usually do, I am going to ask you if there is anything at all, anything at all you want to see from me for YouTube videos, whether it's challenges, reviews, tutorials, hauls, anything. When whatever's beauty makeup kind of related, let me know. Let me know what you want to see because obviously I would love to give you what you would enjoy watching. Now that's not to say I don't have ideas. I do actually have some. I'm going to be filming several YouTube videos today. So I do have some on the docket. So look forward to new videos coming out within the next few weeks. So I'm really, really excited. I'm just really excited for this new journey for YouTube because I feel like this is always where I wanted to be. I always wanted to grow my YouTube channel to be more professional, more streamlined, pretty, very good quality, things like that. And it was always like I didn't have the money, I didn't have the time, I didn't have the right products or the right setup. And now I feel like I finally have that. The only thing that's left is this is kind of the background I'm working with. Um, so if you've seen some of my other recent YouTube videos, you've probably seen how typically I have a spa bed in the back because I work out of an in-home studio. And so it's just a pain to move out of the room all the time. But when I do, I'm able to kind of push back and be by this closet area. So at least it's a plain background so there's no distractions and I think that's better so let me know your thoughts but this is kind of what I'm working with background wise I unfortunately don't have much flexibility in that I know like people make really pretty backgrounds which I hope to do in a few years when we buy a single family home and I have more abilities in an, a bigger office and things like that uh but for now this is kind of what I'm working with Curling the eyelashes literally never looks good on camera. Also, don't mind the crazy hair. It's frizzy and it's just crazy because I washed it last night, um, but I'm gonna straighten it and kind of style it for my next videos. Hence the get ready with me. As a heads up, if you are looking for more video content from me, you need to follow my TikTok account. So um, I have been huge on doing TikToks since March 1st this year. So my intention was to be consistent with TikToks this year from March 1st. So I always like to say I did it before the pandemic and the shutdown happened. It was not like I wasn't one of those people that I was bored and I got on TikTok because of the shutdown. So yeah, it's not that. Um, but it kind of, I guess, resulted in that where I had now all this time and I needed an escape and a stress reliever and TikTok was that for me. It was, I think TikToks are really fun. They're creative. They're funny. Um, I started off by doing a lot of funny ones and then now I've branched out actually into doing some educational ones, which people really seem to like from me. So, um, yeah, I'm over there, like, teaching some stuff. So if you are missing me here, chances are you can find me on TikTok um, for some awesome, you know, short-form video content. So definitely follow me there. All social links are always in the description box. Those I'm definitely updating, too, so you know where to find me. Um, and then I do upload them to Instagram as well. So before Reels came around, I always put them on my Instagram stories so that uh, my friends can see them there, too. Um, but now that Reels is a thing, I've been repurposing my TikToks and putting them on some Reels as well. So some are on my profile. So you can also find them on Instagram. So I do have a lot of content online. I do a lot of blog posts on my website, a lot of stuff on social media. Um, I just find YouTube, I think, is the one where I slack in sometimes, clearly. Um... But I'm trying to get better with that, so. I also want to say a huge thank you to anybody who supported my launch of my lip line back in August. So if you go back a few videos, I'll also link it below. 
I released my first ever lip product line. It has eight lipsticks and eight lip glosses. It's called Emerge, and I can link to the webpage that explains why I named it that and um, just more about it and like what's so important to me about it. It's all cruelty free, gluten free, mostly vegan. It's all made in the USA. Um, and yeah, it's just something I've wanted to do for a long time and something I'm passionate about. So thank you to anybody who made that launch successful. It means the absolute world to me. Um, and thank you to anyone who also ordered during my Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday sales. I will link all of the stuff below. So if you're curious what colors I have and all of that good stuff, you can take a look. I am gonna be doing a restock pretty soon because there are a few colors that I only have a couple left of. So I wanna be prepared for 2021. Lastly, this is so super random, but if you want like a life update, um, I had to go through this whole debacle this morning of calling my health insurance and um, long story short, I'm trying to see a specialist and I needed to know how much they're going to charge because we have a high deductible plan and... Basically, we pay everything out of our HSA. We we don't have really anything covered because, I don't know, it's just, it. Ugh, don't get me started. But yeah, so I had to make five phone calls because I'm going like around and around between the doctor's office, the billing department, and insurance to get a super simple answer. It ended up being super simple and they could give me what I needed in five minutes, but it just took an hour and so many calls just to get there. So, oh, this is the stuff that they need to teach you in school. Nobody prepared me for just how annoying it is to like function as an adult in that realm. You know what I mean? Like, come on. And everybody's telling me something different. That's the thing. Everyone's like, well, this person should have told you this, and this is what you really do. And they're all wanting to send me to this different places, and I'm like, can someone just give me an answer? <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to get help. I, you know, so that was, uh, that was that ordeal. So that was really random. I told you. It was really random. But I know you guys like life updates, too. I'm okay. I'm okay. I just need something checked out from a specialist, um, in case you're wondering, but yeah, so we're almost done. We're almost done. So guess what? I'm going to use my lip line on my lips. Cause who would I be if I didn't use my own lip line? So the lipstick I'm using is lustrous latte and the lip gloss I'm using is skinny dip. These are probably my faves. Lustrous Latte is a nude that looks good on so many people. It's not erase your lips nude, but it's just nice. Um, it's like a brown based neutral. And then Skinny Dip is like this very light lip gloss that is just a bit better than a clear gloss, but it's basically a clear gloss. It just has a little bit of like gold flex and it's really pretty. So yeah. Who struggles with uneven lips? I literally always have. And it's funny because when I was getting my makeup done for my friend's wedding, <laughs> the makeup artist was doing my lips and she's like, you know you have uneven lips? <laughs> I'm like, yes, but why would you say that? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like pretty much no one is symmetrical. Oh my gosh, that too. I learned on TikTok. Did you know you're probably not symmetrical because you sleep, if you're a side sleeper, you sleep on one side more than the other. And that's why you're not sym symmetrical because you're smushing it essentially and you're also aging it faster. My mind was blown, but it also makes so much sense. I'm a side sleeper. Specifically the left side I have to sleep on most of the time, but I also have to turn to the right. <laughs> so yeah, my mind was blown, man. If you wanna learn some real stuff, Go on TikTok, by the way. They could probably, honestly, I could probably find someone who teaches me more about health insurance for the simple fact that I've learned so much from people like therapists and doctors and let's not even get started on how much I've learned on there about labor and delivery and postpartum and that I never knew existed. Even being a woman, 
I never knew to prepare myself for. <laughs> so that's good. Um, but yeah, TikTok. It's like you can like let go and enjoy and laugh. You can cry if you want to. You can learn. It's a really cool platform. I really enjoy it. I had to drench my face in setting spray because honestly, I haven't done that in so long. <laughs> oh, I miss it. All right, so I'm going to go straighten my hair and I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back and here's the final look. So ever since I cut my hair after our wedding last year, I try to keep it pretty short. This is actually getting a little long. Um, and I just straighten it so that it kind of looks nicer put together um, as a lot of you know I'm not big on hair I don't really like to do much with my hair it gets frustrating and I'm impatient so I just straighten it um, because it does have that weird like natural wave where it's not curly and it's not straight so that's what I do with it usually on the daily if it's not up in a ponytail this is pretty standard makeup for me as you guys know by now I love the neutral just put together enhanced look and then this sweater is from Target. So to give you an idea of my filming setup, this, yes, by the way, is a blanket collage of me and Chadelle. Got it a few years ago, but I'm basically using it because the microphone, um, it would pick up if I bang really loudly on the table. This is a plastic table and makes a lot of noise. So I kind of muffle the noise by putting the blanket on top and just placing things down gently. But yeah, so like here's my setup. It's a big table and you know, here's some of the stuff I'm filming with. And then I have the umbrella lights that I just talked about and the makeup light in the center right there. The tripod's right there. I'm obviously using my phone right now to show you this, but that's where the phone is, so it's directly facing me. My computer's here. I have been using this a lot to read notes from if I'm forgetting stuff while I'm filming. And yeah, the microphone. So that's the one that I was talking about. And then this, this is like Inception right now. Look at that, that's so cool. But um, I have been using my iPad to see like how it looks while I'm filming so that I see, you know, because I use the back camera of the iPhone. So this way I can see what everything looks like and if I'm centered and all that. So yeah, this, it's a little blurry right now. I'm not sure why it's not really focusing. So just kind of ignore that. But just so you have an idea, this is what I see when I film now. It's super fancy, right? And I'm, I have this cord connected. This is what connects like the microphone um, and it connects it to power so the phone doesn't die and all that stuff you know all this techie stuff but yeah so as you can see it takes up a bunch of room but it's really cool um, and we are putting up a Christmas tree probably very soon if not it may be even up by the time this video goes up but um, the Christmas tree goes right there and it's huge so I won't have access to this exact filming setup for like a month or so but that's why I'm pre-filming videos. So yeah, cool, right? I love it. So that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for getting ready with me today. And thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're as excited as I am to be getting some better quality content in the future. So I am going to go and film some more YouTube videos for you guys to watch. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.